this update. The porn star at the centre of Donald Trump's latest legal woes has spoken out. Trump has pleaded not guilty to 34 felony criminal charges of falsifying business records. Prosecutors allege the crimes were committed as part of a scheme to cover up money paid to Stormy Daniels in the days leading up to the 2016 election to keep her from going public about an affair she said she'd had with Trump. Daniels has told Piers Morgan it looks like the king has been dethroned. Nobody should be untouchable. It doesn't matter if what your job description is, whether you're the president, like you should be held responsible for your actions. Police are investigating two unrelated burglaries in the Wellington area where firearms, among other items, were reported stolen. Forensic examinations have been undertaken and active inquiries are ongoing. Grammar winning rapper Coolio died from a fentanyl overdose. His manager has revealed the news six months after the musician was found dead at a friend's home in Los Angeles. Born artist Leon Ivey Jr., the 59-year-old was best known for his 1995 single, Gangster's Paradise. Manager Jarris Posey says Coolio's family has been informed by the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office of the cause of death. When it comes to New Zealanders' love of hot cross buns, the proof is in the pudding. Countdown expects to sell more than 2 million packs of the tasty Easter treat. The supermarket's deli manager, Nicole Sawant, says it almost equates to 28 transport trucks of flour. We have already consumed almost $1.8 million worth of Easter confectionery products already. Part of State Highway 35 will close overnight as rain continues. The highway between Tapuia Springs and Tokumaru Bay will close from 6pm today. It says Met Service upgrades its warnings for Hawke's Bay and Taraifati and there's a continued risk of rising river levels, surface flooding and slips. Waka Kotahi will reassess the closure at first light tomorrow once crews have travelled it. That's news. One double X Sports News. And sport. Content and ready for more. That's the approach from Ryan Fox after day one of golf's Masters at Augusta. The Kiwi has carded a two under pass 70 to sit in a tie for 17th, five shots off the pace. Fox is happy with his performance but says it wasn't perfect. I could have probably had a couple more there but if you'd have given me 70 at the start of the day I definitely would have taken it. Victor Hovland, Brooks Kepka and John Rahm all share the lead at seven under par. Positive feedback from goalkeeper Victoria Essen on the Football Ferns new kit. The team have opted to switch from white shorts to teal blue for the FIFA Women's World Cup amid player concerns about period anxiety. They'll debut their new look in friendlies against Iceland and Nigeria. That sport, I'm Sandy Hodge. One double X, Met Service weather. Mostly cloudy today with scattered showers. Southeasterly winds strong in exposed places. Tomorrow, occasional rain clearing in the afternoon, but remaining cloudy with fresh southeasterlies easing in the afternoon. And on Sunday, isolated showers turning to rain in the evening with northwesterlies developing in the morning. Now for the marine forecast for sea area plenty until midnight tonight. There is a gale warning in force. Southeasterly winds of 25 knots, 35 knots offshore, with the sea becoming very rough offshore and a nori swell rising to three metres. And there's poor visibility in the rain. The outlook for the following three days tomorrow sees southwesterly winds 20 knots, a rough sea easing with heavy easterly swells offshore. Sunday, southwesterlies 15 knots, changing northerly 20 knots, a moderate easterly swell easing. And on Monday, northwesterlies at 15 knots. The next low tide around the Bay of Plenty is between 2 and 3 p.m. and high tide between 8 and 9 p.m. The Whakatani River Bar is workable with caution. There's a slight sea inshore with a low nor'easterly swell rising. Heading for an overnight low of 15 degrees and a high of 22. That's your weather with One Double X.